My friends, we're diving straight into it today. Addiction, the most misunderstood, stepped on, mistreated, like sickness or phenomena in the modern day or maybe ever. My friends, we all suffer from addiction. Man is addictive in nature. And we must, we absolutely must revolutionize thought in what addiction is, where it spawns from, and how to overcome it, how to transcend that shit, my friends. This is not a teaching you're going to find elsewhere. This is a blueprint I've just been mapping out, my friends, because... I started with like the philosophy, the philosophical under underpinnings of what addiction is and where it comes from and what it means for the soul. And then I got into just the practical master keys, the tried and true tested ways, my friends, to transmute addiction like a master alchemist out here. To start with, <laughs> yo, the reason that addiction is so damn rampant in this world right now is because we are not living in accordance with our own nature. We are not using nor expressing our feelings or the energy we hold inside. And when we do this, my friends, we create voids because we are not connected to the right sources of energy. We are not using what is within us. So addiction is a lack of connection. Addiction is filling this void space, this cavern we have opened up within ourselves because we are not living in our truth. So that, that's just, we need to get that through our heads. Furthermore, Man is addictive in nature. My friends, we are all addicted to things, period. Now, whether you watching this right now are addicted to the worst shit, or maybe your loved one is, like heroin, you know, whatever the new drugs are these days. But, my friends, anybody watching this, we all have addictive things in our life. We are addictive in nature. Those double hot fudge brownies and two Coca-Colas you drink after work, that's an addiction. Your lifestyle, most of your habits, it's an addiction. Furthermore, the way you think, the way you act is an addiction. My friends, to, to really evolve and grow and transform your life, it is to upgrade your addictions. Okay? And that's going to get into moving in mysterious ways. We're going to approach this <laughs> from a place... Of understanding first though okay stop shaming yourself I'm speaking to everyone who has an addiction or please share this with someone you know that is suffering from addiction or trying to overcome it because we're my friends what what is this going to be included in this video is, is quite profound in a lot of ways um, to start with my friends addiction itself <laughs> all the strongest people I've ever met all the strongest souls, the tribe, guess what? The one universal theme in 99% of them is a battle or a struggle to the death with addiction of some kind, my friends. Whether it be heroin, Xanax, you know, pills and Addy, caffeine, whatever it is, my friends, or like addiction in an abusive relationship, right? It is a universal theme amongst the strongest souls on the planet. You know why? Because those who have fire in their spirit, who have fire in their soul, they're going to get into trouble because they're willing to try shit out here. They're running fast. They have a high threshold for thrill, right? And someone telling them not to do something ain't going to do shit to a defiant, fiery soul, my friends. And this is why a lot of people watching this channel have you know, walk the stony path. But the first thing, my friends, that we need to get through our heads is that addiction, trials, suffering of the most immense, preposterous, like preposterous enormity is not to be shamed nor looked upon with, you know, like condemnation. My friends, we cannot condemn the addiction in anyone or in ourselves. And furthermore, we must realize that you chose that addiction before you came in. My friends, of, of the strong people I met, I've been meeting, right? When I talk to them about this, this issue, you start to realize that that addiction was the very catalyst for the immense growth that took place for the absolute need to transform their whole entire life and lifestyle. 
My friends, in my own experience, my addiction is what created the most suffering, the most trials, right? It's the reason that I left school. It's the reason that I had falling out with my, my friends and my family. If I didn't, if addiction wasn't in my life, this channel never would have started. If addiction wasn't in my life, I'd probably still be in college right now. My friends, addiction is the catalyst for growth on your path. It is not something to be ashamed of, okay? Addiction is not something to be shamed, period. Moving on. <laughs> on that note, let's talk about compassionate understanding, my friends. Be since really dwell and think upon that idea I just uh, presented to you, that addiction is something that you chose as a catalyst for growth. And it was something that was meant it was a God-given destiny on your path, my friends, for the most part, especially with like strong addictions. And um, compassionate understanding, my friends, we must find the source of this addiction. We must find the source of any addiction, of any lifestyle, of any way of living. I'm also speaking to people that aren't necessarily addicted to anything intense right now. This video is going to hold keys for all of it, but... Compassionate understanding, my friends, for your trials, for your battle, for your fuck-ups, for your fuckery. You know what I've been realizing lately? Is that alignment is often unalignment or disalignment. My friends, it's crazy. But it's like you can't be moral unless you become like immoral for a while. It's a strange idea, but I was realizing that, damn, the real the reason that I always get so burnt out that I that I'm always like there's always so much chaos in my life is truly because I am walking with the spirit of the times and I'm using like what I'm supposed to be doing, and that's creating hardship. It's creating things I must respond to, right? <laughs> and this whole philosophy, this whole way of thought that life should be easy, that if you're living right, you should have like good karma and you should live in abundance and all this BS is exactly that BS, my friends. Guess what? You never seen a strong man without many scars. You've never seen a warrior who hasn't been through the fray of it. You've never seen a king, right? Who hasn't earned his place on that throne or else there'd be fucking anarchy. Okay. The stony path is the, is the path that the strong souls walk. And compassionate understanding in this lens, my friends, we, we must stop condemning ourselves in order to heal anything. And compassionate understanding also reveals the source. I encourage you to get curious with the addiction, with the way you're living, with why you want that, with why you're connected to this energy, right? And... acknowledge the addiction in your life my friends this is the end of part one uh, yeah this is the end of part one okay part two we're going straight to the master keys link in the description i'll see you guys there if you want to go way deeper into all this stuff i'm gonna have a private page that's free all you gotta do is put in your email and you get all the techniques for overcoming addiction but this was just an intro to addiction in the modern day my friends and this complete ignorance surrounding it taking all the tactics from the art of war right like never facing your opponent head-on and i guess rebranding those for fighting your own inner war my friends we're going to come at this with the knowledge of self mute that we're gonna flip the damn script on your inner dialogue we're gonna flip the damn script on how we view addiction and how we move through this world right and what addiction means for us Okay, my friends, addiction, part two. We are revolutionizing thought in the realm of addiction. This is the most mistreated, misunderstood. I mean, just the amount of ignorance surrounding this subject is ridiculous. And it's killing people, my friends. The amount of addiction and suffering from it I see out here is intense. Intense, and it's worse every day. And... So much can go be said here. Go watch part one, my friends. The intro that is revolutionizing the philosophy behind addiction and what addiction means for your soul here. Right here, we're just going straight to the master keys. This is your boy Demetrius. This is Reality Files. If you guys want to talk to me, 
Link in the description. Let's dive in. Number one, my friends, the opposite of addiction is connection. The reason that we have addictions in our life or things that are like these negative habits that we don't really want to do, right? But they ha- they rule over us. We are not sovereign in that. The reason that that happens is because we are not connected to the right streams of energy, my friends. Instead of facing addiction, how about we create new connections, my friends? Anywhere you place your focus, it grows. If we are if we are battling addiction head on, right? And we're thinking about addiction and we're trying to not do that and we're trying to not do that and people are shaming us and we're shaming ourselves and we're condemning ourselves. Wow. That's a cocktail of a disaster. Even if you do get past that addiction, you're going to have this fucking severed empty gap within you because you never transmuted it. You came in with a scalpel and started cutting shit off. My friends, create new connections. Go hike, right? Start playing video games. (laughs) Like, here's the thing, my friends. When you're addicted to something, how about we upgrade the addiction? Upgrade the addiction, right? Like, if you smoke cigarettes, how about you start rolling your own tobacco? If you aren't, like, apply this to your own life and your own circumstances accordingly, right? Abusive relationships, addiction to people, ways of thought, habits, eating, and, like, drugs, hard or soft. Um, Create new connections, my friends. So, like, for instance, if you find yourself eating because... Uh, whenever you get lonely or depressed, you find yourself just eating like unconsciously, right? First, you have to use compassion, understanding the technique I talked about in the first video to identify the source and acknowledge the source. But then how do we transmute that shit, right? How about you go out? You start gaming. See how many girls numbers you can get in a night. How about you, right? Go make a fuck ton of friends. Get into groups. Throw yourself out there. My friends, the first step to overcoming addiction is acknowledgement the second is courage and sufficient motivation okay so sufficient motivation (laughs) we're gonna get into this and this is actually a really funny concept but before we get there let's talk about never facing your opponent head-on we're getting into the gems my friends this is from the art of war and we're gonna really break down a lot of the gems from the art of war within this dialogue and this dialogue just open from from the blueprint, but never face your opponent head on, my friends. We're talking deception, misdirection, reconnaissance, and disarming the enemy. So move in mysterious ways at all times in life, my friends. Addiction comes from a set pattern, and the and the more and more that you get set into this rhythm set into this rigid structure of how you live and what your day is like, the harder it is to break addiction. So start now, my friends. Flip the damn script. Change things up, right? When you hang out with the friend, with that friend, act differently, play differently, do other things, right? Right in the morning, how about instead of brushing your teeth and then eating your toast and waffles and Big Mac and whatever, how about you just do eat the Big Mac first and then brush your teeth? Like, just flip the script, my friends. Move differently every day. Stop moving in routines, in structures, in rigid forms, my friends. You, there's, there's quite the alchemy of how you can set up a day within this, but move in mysterious ways. Move in mysterious ways. Move like you've never moved before. This is a twofold fucking master key. The first one is because you become formless, my friends. The more you move in mysterious ways, the less firmly and strongly that you hold on to things and solidify them in your life, okay? The longer that addiction and just like this habit sits in your life, the deeper it gets ingrained, right? Move mysteriously. Furthermore, you find new things that entertain you. You create new connections because instead of driving this way to work, you went that way and you saw that bridge over there and you want to go meditate there after work. Move mysteriously, my friends. This helps you face fears. It helps you re-identify what life could be. Move mysteriously at all times, my friends. Therefore, you never hold on to much and nothing gets too solidified. 
Furthermore, upgrading addictions, my friends, like I mentioned, that is also within the movie mysteriously. And lastly, my friends, the number one master key for overcoming addiction is transforming or changing your environment. My friends, move, travel, leave now. <laughs> For so many reasons, my friends, your environment determines your genetic makeup more than anything else. All the mental hacks and lifestyle changes and all the shit you could do doesn't equal a change in environment, period. My friends, move, travel, get up and go. You can. Are you not freaking living this life? My friends, you can. You can do it. It's possible, right? Put your mind that way and just <laughs> like rally the fucking troops. Rally what you need to do. Okay. I'm going to make a further video on travel on movement because traveling my friends with very little things like a minimalist way of traveling is a master key for leveling up in so many ways. It forces you to grow a hundred times faster because everything's new. Everything is different every day. Right. And furthermore, you don't have that plug for that, you know, drug. Furthermore, you don't, you know, you're not always going to be by the KFC for the chicken wings. Right. <laughs> when you travel, my friends, you just make do with what you have. And you learn this new philosophy of movement, of always letting go, of always saying goodbye to friends, to people, to things. Right. You get very good at understanding the transient nature of this world. My friends, travel helps you see right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, so move in mysterious ways. Never face your opponent head on, my friends. If you are suffering from addiction, upgrade that shit. Move mysteriously. Create new connections, right? Don't focus on the addiction. Now let's get into disarming and reconnaissance. Oh, the last point I want to make over there is addiction usually rises up in your life or just within your day when you are not doing anything, right? Here's a master key for you. This video is going to be filled with them. This master key, my friends, is make plans you are excited for. Make plans you are excited for, my friends. When I wake up every day, and if I don't really have a direction, nor an aim, nor a goal, and it's just kind of like, ah, oh, I'm going to go for a walk, you know, maybe smoke a few joints now, some weed, you know, do the Xanax. It's like when you, when you are just moving randomly and aimlessly, my friends, anything like anything that sounds good or is going to give you pleasure right then, you're probably going to do it, right? Make plans you are excited for. Furthermore, build momentum in the spirit of action. Okay. The spirit of action. If you want, you can go check out my creator master key free page link in the description so for all creators, entrepreneurs out there, artists uh, to get you moving in the spirit of action. My friends, this is new connection, right? Just start doing things. Have you noticed how much more you eat when you're just like bored when you're just, you know, driving on a 16 hour car ride and nothing to entertain you? My friends, bring forth what is within you. Express yourself. Learn to use your body. Let's get into the next key right there. That's a perfect transition. My friends, you must remind yourself of your power. So this video is quite jumpy around because the nature of addiction is quite complex and super dynamic and is in fact the very beast in all of our lives, <laughs> truly. Uh, how can we change from ingrained patterns is what this video is addressing. And my friends, reminding yourself of your power, of where you've been, of where you came from and where you're going. My friends, remind yourself of your power. This is A, disarming the enemy and B, like strength, like getting the reinforcements in. To remind yourself of your power, my friends, for instance, like, if you smoke cigarettes, how about you try doing some breath alchemy? How about you try doing some jumping jacks, do a few sprints, laugh, freestyle rap, sing at the top of your lungs, call up your friend and just have a good ass cry. 
My friends, there's so many things we can do. Unfortunately, we live in this age of numbification. Unfortunately, we live in an age of suppression of everything we feel, right? So we're just numb. We are numb to everything. And all we want is something that, you know, I can just be passive. I can just be a passive consumer. It's going to make me feel different. This is killing us, my friends. Bring forth what is within you. And what is within you will save you, my friends. Any state a drug can give you, you can create within yourself, period. You are an alchemist. You are a magician, my friends. Go check out my state control videos. Go check out primal movement, martial arts, yoga, breath work, right? Laughing, singing, moving meditation, speaking in gibberish, dancing like a lizard. What? You see what I mean, my friends? Remind yourself that you have the power and the capacity to control and create whatever experience you want to. This is a huge step towards moving away from addiction. The second side of that. Here we go. My friends. <laughs> This is the reinforcements coming in. When after you're like during, like I guess coinciding with reminding yourself of your power, you must sit and look the devil in the eye and smile because he has no power over you. You have no fear. You were not moved, right? Sit with the beast, sit with the temptation and let that shit roar. Let it overwhelm the senses right but unmoved be a badass just for a few moments my friends we're talking about breath work right here start breathing start falling in love with breath work my friends because breath work is truly the key to transmutation of all things creative resistance addiction mental patterns emotional patterns the breath work is that which burns and intertwines all bodies Breathwork is the master key to overcoming addiction because it taps you into presence, power, centeredness, oneness, and stillness, my friends. Breathwork. Just breathe and be easy, right? And then if you're feeling real, <laughs> like a real badass, my friends, trigger the addiction. Trigger the temptation, my friends. Let that shit burn. If you have a sex demon, a sex temp like addiction, right? Trigger that shit. You know, start thinking of a sexual fantasy and then sit there. Sit with it, my friends, and look that shit in the eye. Unmoved. You must reclaim your sovereignty and power over this feeling. Okay? We cannot be at the mercy of pain and pleasure, my friends. This is what creates all the suffering in your life. It's because when you are Pavlov's dog that has been operation like like operant conditioning to you know go towards pleasure and avoid pain which means go towards bad food drugs like just like entertainment distractions video games right and avoid pain which is everything that makes you grow we're gonna have to overcome this program my friends and this program is overcome it's a slow process, but start with just sitting in pain, sitting in uncomfortability, sitting with temptation and letting that shit roar, my friends. Everyone watching this video and who are this far in, this channel, this movement, this philosophy, it is about falling in love with uncomfortability. Because uncomfortability is the catalyst of growth. My friends, uncomfortability... <laughs> Anything that you do that is meaningful, worthwhile, lasting, good for you, right, is uncomfortable. Getting up on that stage and giving that speech, reading your freestyle poetry, creating your first YouTube video, going to the goddamn gym, right, waking up early to attack your dream, having those uncomfortable conversations to heal past relationships, facing your addiction, right, Facing your life, facing your bullshit and demanding more. My friends, life's uncomfortable. And if you're seeking security and comfort, go jump on the pathway to death. Truly. Growth happens through sitting in fear. 
through sitting in temptation, through sitting in uncomfortability. And we must create a new way of living, a new daily practice, a lifestyle that is built around embracing uncomfortability. And in fact, leaning into that shit, my friends, that is the elixir of good things, of life, of growth, of meaning, of purpose, and of truth. Uncomfortability, my friends. Love that shit in. And... Hell yeah, my friends. That was my blueprints on addiction here this morning. Um, okay, I'm going to leave you guys with a final ceremony for releasing addiction. This is a shamanic ceremony that is super fucking powerful for letting go. And if you want to see this, go check out the link in the description that's going to lead you to the addiction uh, private page. And I'll have a couple techniques there. Everything free. All you got to do is drop your email in there and you can see all my exclusive content on addiction. And furthermore, I will let you know any updates on future packages around addiction or o overcoming the shadow and transmuting this shit. Um, yeah, the spirit of the flame. If you want to go see that, check it out. Link in the description. My friends, I'm Demetrius. This is Reality Files. Revolutionizing thought around addiction. We got we to gotta let go of this shame bullshit and get on the path of the true page, my friends. It's a new age and it's time to be, right, in your inner sage. Not beast mode, it's sage mode. Because <laughs> we know that we go with the spirit of the flow and the spirit of the times. It may not rhyme, but it don't need to because we got the divine flying up. <laughs> Time to take a ride on that vibe. Take it with me and move to the tune of the moon. And rise with the sun because you're awesome. Now feel that power, yeah. Not really sour, yeah. Rise with the hour, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just playing around because I'm having fun. And I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. This is Reality Files. Make sure you hit that like and share button, my friends. Get this to someone who needs it. And if you are struggling with addiction, hit me up, shoot me an email. I faced some intense battles in this realm, known many, many people who have faced equally harsh shit. And truly the, my way of viewing this truly is, is the way out, I guess, or it's just an enlightened ultra spiritual perspective on addiction. Let's go with that. <laughs> Wink, wink. See you guys next time. Peace. Oh, also free consultations for anybody interested in coaching or working with me, Skype sessions, the whole shebang. If you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, do coaching or just like inner, per inner and personal work, link in the description. See you guys next time.